Captain Curry, come in. I'm here, Kevin. The Colonel has asked to see you. You'll find him in his chambers inside the Ark. His chambers? If you go in from the main camp... Hey, Weaver. Oh, Corporal St. John. Come on in, man. Check out my home sweet home. Yeah, I love what you've done with the place. Man, ain't I... this some shit? Wonder what they would have done with me if I failed. No, oh, colder cave down that way. <laughs> yeah. Heard about that. You know, she didn't take it any better than I did. No, she did not. Do you need anything? Nah, man, I'm good. Oh, wait, you know what? There is something you can get from me. You hear that? Hear what? That's right. Nothing. Colonel ain't exactly big on tunes, in case you hadn't heard. I think it's Mennonite or some shit. Oh, it's dancing. Wait, what's dancing? Dude, Mennonites, they love music. They just have a problem with dancing. Forget it. Oh, it's... no shit. Yeah, whatever, dude. I don't care. I need an MP3 player. Earbuds. Anything. Sounds. Are you kidding me? Do I look like I'm kidding? Okay. Thank you. You there? Come in. Corporal St. John, I won't tolerate insubordination. Private, I'm trying to work. Get out! Sorry, ma'am. Colonel's orders. Gotta keep eyes on you 24-7. Uh, Lieutenant. Sorry. Yeah, just reporting in. Um, I got a question about your requisition form. Yes, Corporal. Uh, it says that you need me to collect water hemlock. Yes. It grows along the edges of wetlands. Look along the north edge of the Klamath Marsh. You should be able to find it there. Klamath Marsh. Got it. Remember, Corporal. It's highly poisonous. The most toxic plant that grows in North America. O okay, I'll be careful. And the last report said that there were infected crows in the area, so you might want to take something to burn out their nests. Burn out their nests. Got it. Uh, one more thing. Uh, that other project that I'm working on, I'm going to have more information on that soon. Thank you, Corporal. Lieutenant Whitaker, out. I'm going to need some shotgun ammo. Burn out the nests. Gonna need Molotovs. Sir, I was... You know when I was young? We used to explore caves like these. Looking for petroglyphs, carvings by the Modoc, other tribes. Thousands of years old. You know, they never lived in these caves, the heathens. In the cold and the dark. But look at us. Look how far we have fallen. Colonel, Colonel, I, I was... The soldier who used yeah. to be assigned to Lieutenants Whitaker and Weaver, the soldier you replaced, has gone AWOL. He broke into my private chambers and took my personal copy of the Holy Bible. I want it returned. Yes, sir. I've marked his last known location on your map. Dismissed, Corporal.
A short while ago, I stood here before you and grieved for the loss of Captain Jimenez, our only doctor and my very dear friend. And for what great purpose did Captain Jimenez perish? So that a drug addict, a worthless excuse of a human being, could get high. Jimenez died because he stood between a junkie and a bag full of narcotics. I have taken steps to see that this never happens again. For their own safety, I have moved Lieutenants Whitaker and Weaver into the Ark, where they will be under protective watch 24 hours a day. The call is going out. Any person who has highly trained knowledge and skills, skills that cannot be replaced, mechanics, engineers, scientists, medical personnel, are to be taken from active duty and removed to the Ark until this war is over. From now on, no one is allowed entrance into the Ark unless they are on special assignment and unless they are personally vetted by myself. There will be no exceptions. I am beginning to see, I'm afraid, that our enemy has never been the freaks. They know not what they do. Mankind, in all his state of degradation and transgression, is our true enemy. Keep a watchful eye on your neighbors. Evil surrounds us. Company dismissed. I can hear you though. You're breaking up. Oh, it's this damn game, man. No surprise to see it's out at all. Hey, I know you can find an end to play. Okay, yeah, where's that? I was at a refugee camp at a community college when it got overrun. Community college? Uh, the one east of here off Highway 97? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Fighting platypus or some shit. You know, anyway, when I bugged out, I left everything behind, including my tunes. Oh, shit, I gotta go. Radio me when you get there. We've out. Uh, sure, Weaver, whatever you say. Colonel, found Sergeant Foster. She's heading back now. Good work, Corporal. 
Thank you, sir. I'll, uh, I'll check back in later, see how she's doing. St. John out. Colonel, sir, reporting in. Yes. Corporal St. John, sir, I, I wanted to check to see how Sergeant Foster was doing. Foster, yes. Yes, uh, she'll be fine. Thank you. The report contained high praise for your actions and bravery. You are to be commended. Well, thank you, sir. She's, um, she's a survivor. We're all survivors, aren't we? Yes, sir. Say John out. Some more. More hemlock, more hemlock. Need more hemlock. Okay, just a few more. I gotta find more. <sighs> that should do it. O'Brien. Come in, O'Brien. I know you were in this channel. Drifter. I didn't think I'd ever hear from you again. The radio's been dead. Yeah, he turned it off. Look. I need your help. Weaver. Weaver. Say, like John. Oh, right, man. Hey, I was housed in some kind of tent. It was like right in the middle of camp. Okay. Oh, can you tell me anything else? I mean, come on. These all kind of look the same. Uh, yeah, 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 it was near a flagpole, a big one. They're flying in good old stars and stripes. Oh, very patriotic. All right, well, I'll have a look. St. John out. Here they are. It's gotta be it. Brian! Okay, where the hell have you been? Meet me at the coordinates I've just transmitted. O'Brien out. O'Brien. O'Brien, oh, oh! Jesus, he's... Damn it. There's the flag. Still flying. Corporal St. John, this is Colonel Garrett. Report. Yes, sir. Corporal, good, yes. Another traitor was discovered in our midst. A spy working for the anarchists. Anarchists, again. Yes, you remember. He escaped before he could be apprehended. He was chased north, but our patrol lost him. I've marked the position he was last seen on your map. We need him alive, Corporal. We need to find out what he was doing here, how much he knows, and what his group wants. Yes, sir. I'll do my best. As do we all. As do we all. Dismissed. Here, here it is. I hope it's worth all this trouble either.
this is Ricky to Lost Lake. Come back. Yeah, Ricky, what's up? Ricky? Boozer! Can you hear me? Think of the Lost Lake camp. Come back. Just, uh, checking in to see what else Addie needed. She and... Yeah, Ricky, out of my way. I'm Mike Sen. Who's man? Ricky! Well, give him hell, Boozer. man. Yes, sir. So, uh, what do you want from me, O'Brien? I'm glad she's alive, your wife. Okay, what, what do you want? I told you the infected, the freaks, are mutating. Some faster than others. Uh-huh. We placed a tracking bracelet on one of them, so that we could track it and stop it periodically and draw blood samples and check the progress of the virus. Okay, so why do you need me? Well, it's wandered into militia territory. Oh, right. We can't get close to it. Yeah, no fly zone, outpost with RPGs. Exactly. What's this? Once you've tracked it down, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. This pack holds everything you need to do a field biopsy. We need blood and tissue samples. Can you handle that? Yeah, I can figure it out. By the way, nice uniform, Corporal. Suits you. Suck it. <laughs> Tell me about this freak you're tracking. We don't have all the answers. All we know is that the infected are mutating. We're talking about leaping past millions of years of evolution. We think they're communicating with each other the way ants and bees and, and other... You know, to me, sounds like a whole lot of mumbo-jumbo. Believe what you want. Once you see our test subject, you'll change your mind. O'Brien out. Brian, I'm at the cave and I'm heading in. You guys gonna be ready? Yes, we're standing by. Oh, Jesus. What's wrong? Eh, freaker shit. Freaker shit everywhere. Hey, O'Brien, uh, you got any idea what took out your men? Am I walking into a horde here? No idea. We never heard back from them. Remember, if you 
find them, we got people here who'd be grateful. Grateful? Grateful, yeah, that changes everything. Yeah, I got it. Good. I'll take care of it out. O'Brien, how many men are in here? Uh, how many did you, did you lose? Four. Four men. A researcher and three soldiers. Jesus, O'Brien, what am I doing in here? The researcher, Coop, is a personal friend of mine. You do this and I'll do whatever I can to help you get your wife, O'Brien, out. O'Brien. So while I'm tracking down your pet freak, give me some more mumbo jumbo. Uh, tell me about the virus. I mean, something that I don't know. For those exposed, the virus infection rate is close to 100%. In the first weeks, almost everyone under the age of 12 was killed. Something to do with how puberty or the lack of it affected the body's immune response. Everyone over the age of 60 mostly were also killed. Their bodies just couldn't handle rapid genetic mutations on a cellular level. Everyone else who is exposed becomes transformed as the genes mutate. The thing is, the virus is mutating at an exponential rate. I know you keep saying that. What does that mean? It means that the infected subject, the freaker you're tracking down, isn't like any you've seen before. We've tracked and identified over 12 mutations. 12? Yeah. And that's just the beginning. You wouldn't believe some of the shit we've seen. Yeah, well, I probably would. It's St. John out. Another flare. Yeah, this has to be the way. There's another one. Right up that way. Brian, I, uh, I reached your guy and, uh, yeah, he's dead. ID says G. Hernandez. How did it happen? Well, I'm not a coroner, O'Brien. How the hell do I know? Something tore him apart. Uh, this freak I'm tracking, is there something you haven't told me? Not that I'm aware of. O'Brien out. He went down fast. O'Brien, I found another one of your men. ID says his name was H.S. Patterson. <sighs> okay. Thanks for letting me know. You didn't ask, O'Brien. Didn't ask what? If he was alive or dead. His radio's been dead for 12 hours. All their radios have been dead for 12 hours. I don't need to ask. Thank you for doing this. O'Brien out. Another flare. There, there's the last one. How am I gonna get to him? Down there, maybe.
Brian. Uh, he uh, found another one. ID says his name was Robinson. Okay. Max, I'll let his family know. So, you guys have, uh, families. Managed to get them all out while shit was going down? I'm not gonna apologize for being lucky or luckier than most. Yes, some of us got our families out. Not many, but some. That's just, it's so... Yeah. That doesn't look good. Oh, shit. What the hell? O'Brien, I found your last man. ID reads Cooper. Copy that. Oh, Jesus. Hold up, he's still alive. Hold on. Hey, Cooper, Cooper. Hey, 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 hey. Right here, right here. We're gonna get you out of here, right? Cooper? Cooper, come in! <laughs> Sorry, shoot, Lisa. Get down. Come on. Oh, Jesus. What's going on, Deacon? Cooper. His legs are broken. Hold on, stay with him. I'm sending in another team. No, no, no. My, he's compromised. I'm not gonna make it. Hey. Let me talk to Jen. Get Jen in here now. Cooper. What the hell did this to you? What happened? It was so fast. I didn't see it coming. You told me that a freak did all of this. Reacher. Reacher. Cooper! Cooper! Are you there? Jen? Oh, I'm here. I can't hear you. I can't you. believe it. I thought I'd never hear you more. Oh, listen I can't. to me. So what the hell am I dealing with here, Brian? Talk to me. Hey, my guy's in the lab. Reacher. Reacher. What is this? Long arms, claws, what? Found it. The Reacher should have a tracking device. Take it. To take it, we can use it to guide you out. What? How? How, O'Brien? We have infrared. We can track the horde's movements. Take it! <sighs> oh, Jesus. O'Brien, oh, I got your samples. Say, John, get out of there! What? Get out of there now! There's a horde coming! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! <laughs> Shit, they're getting close. <laughs> yeah, it's time to finish these guys off. <laughs> Jesus, O'Brien. You made it out. Yeah, I made it out, no thanks to you. Transmitting coordinates. O'Brien out.
Brian. Four men died for this shit. Hope it was worth it. Jesus, listen to you. Those are my men. I don't need you or anyone else telling me. Fly around in your helo well above the shit, and you crawl back into what? Cozy underground bunker, or whatever the fuck. You have no idea what it's like out here. I don't have to what it's to survive. Oh, you know those men, Cooper, the others, they had no idea what they were walking into, but you did. Didn't you? Huh? Didn't you? Radio me when you and your old lady are ready to be lifted out. Maybe this time you'll get on the chopper with her. Renegade Patrol, god damn it! Word of caution. Captain Curry tells me he was one of our best riders. If you let him get away, you may be able to catch him. How would you see about that? St. John out. Something under this. There you are, Colonel. I have spotted him. Oh, come on! You're not gonna make this easy on me, are you? Some bitch! You know how it goes, you got him. Oh, goddamn! How you doing, buddy, huh? Looks like you're having a chaotic day, yeah? Just the way you like it? I think I already did. Ah, don't matter much to me one way or the other. Goddamn the anarchist. Colonel, I've got him. Transmitting the coordinates now. Good work, Corporal. Wait! Wait, you can't leave me! The freaks! The freaks! Stop, don't leave! Please! Please! It doesn't look too bad.
Well, would you like to taste it? Go right ahead. Thank you, Corporal. I hope you were careful. This is very toxic. Yeah. Yeah, sure thing, ma'am. Uh, listen, I got a plan. I don't have time to explain, but the next time I get here, get ready to get the hell out of here, okay? Corporal. I didn't thank you this time. As you were. Hey. Hey, man, how'd you do? Uh, this is all I could find. Oh. oh, man, what do we have here? Oh, brother, you're a lifesaver, dude. Right on. Thank you. Uh, do you need anything else, Weaver? Weaver, do you need... Totally. Mm, mm. Hey, Corporal St. John, you one of the good ones, man. Brother from another mother. I have had a revelation. Last night, a new group of recruits joined our ranks and have already been sworn in. They have traveled far from the east, west, south, and north. They're coming to this place at this time. Is no accident. They bring word of more camps, like the one to the south which we have purged, right. yeah. camps filled with degenerates, thieves, <laughs> drug addicts, and murderers. We are threatened, all of us. Every day, we live in the shadow of death. Hell yeah. That's right. But that shadow is not cast by rabid freaks that surround us. No, it's right. They are part of God's plan. That's right. yeah. They are part of God's punishment. Yes. Preach, Colonel. Yeah. Yeah. No! Yes, no. It is not the freaks who threaten to destroy us. No. It is our fellow man. Right on. Yes, sir. Like Noah before us. We have built an ark to save mankind. Yes, we have. To save all the knowledge. Yeah. So when the, the flood waters recede, mm -hmm. we may rebuild. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, we built something. But in this build. age, here at the end of the world, God is not sending the oceans from their beds to rise up and sweep away the damned. No. There will be no baptism of water. No, there won't. Yes. No. In this last age, we are the flood. Yeah. We are sent forth yeah. to baptize the world right. with fire! Yeah. Today, we begin a holy war against all those who have brought down the wrath of God. We will move north, seek out the depraved, and cleanse... Brian, this is St. John, come in. Okay, I hope you're ready because we're doing this. We're doing this right now. Give me your coordinates. 
find the enclaves of the degenerate Done. and destroy them. Hell yeah. Wait, where are you? Center of Crater Lake, Wizard Island, the militia camp. You can disable the RPGs. Ah, oh, shit, not yet. I'll get right on that. Radio me when you're ready. I'll Brian out. Gotta get to the RPGs. Where would they be? Oh, the towers. It's gotta be the towers. That's right. Keep moving. Speech? Move it against other camps? Jesus, that's harsh. Find me some grub while you're out. Come on, you son right. of a bitch. That'll do it. I gotta get to Sarah. Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, come in. Damn it. Hang on, I'm coming. Can't you stand guard or do whatever it is you're doing out there? Colonel's orders. Gotta keep eyes on you at all times. Yeah, well, fuck the Colonel's orders. Hey, you watch your mouth. Things are changing around here. And if you don't follow the orders... Make sure we're clear. You're good. You're clear. Okay. What's the plan? I need you to pack your stuff. We're leaving. How are we gonna get out of here? There are guards everywhere. Do you trust me? O'Brien, I'm here. We're heading up to the cone. We got one shot at this. Copy that. O'Brien out. Who's O'Brien? Where are we going? Look, I don't have time to explain. You got everything? We're not coming back. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Right, stay close, and if we see anyone. Hey. In case you didn't read my note. Wait, so who's O'Brien? How's he getting us out of here? I told you, O'Brien is how I found you. He was the Nero soldier who was there that night, the night that I put you on that chopper. Nero? Oh, come on! Oh, shit, Weaver! No, 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 that one. The canister. Right. Private! Are you paying attention? Eyes on your work, man! That canister, right there! Go, go. Up! I don't want to see that canister fall. Shit, he let us go. Weaver let us go. Oh, shit. More guards. Okay, hold here. Hey, come on. Let's go around them. Okay. So, O'Brien, the guy in the Nero chopper, he's coming here? Yeah, look. It's a long story. I'll tell you all about it once we get clear. Wait, so they're still flying? I mean... God, Deacon, they must have resources, labs, equipment? Well, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure they do. Look, you can ask O'Brien when you see him. Another guard. Hold on. I'll distract him. Yeah, I'll be careful. Soldier, what are you doing? Uh, I'm sorry, man. This area's off limits. How dare you talk back to an officer? Do you know the pedal? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta work. Another guard. I'll see if I can get them to move. Yeah, I'll be careful. Well done. Come on. We're almost there. I can't wait to see Boozer again. You, uh, you want to go with me? To Lost Lake, I mean? I mean, I, th I thought we were going to Cloverdale. No, we are. I mean, I just want to see him. He's like my big brother. I don't know. It's not like we have much family left these days, you know? Over here, please. Ma'am, this is restricted. Are you questioning me, soldier? Do you see this rank? What? <laughs> 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 
Nice. <sighs> yeah, you too. I can see daylight. Come on, we're almost out. Yeah, okay, this is it. We're at the cone. We made it. Where's it? Where is he? Where's oh, Brian? He'll be here. He'll be here. We just uh, oh, need to... Gentlemen, this is the top of the cone where you can see we get an amazing view here. Oh, Lieutenant. I've just been giving this group of new recruits a tour of the island. Oh, we're just about to go down into the Ark. You should join us. Uh, well, uh, gentlemen, Colonel... this is Lieutenant Whitaker. She heads up part of the research team that's exploring ways to use poison to defeat our enemies. Traitor! Matt, I was just Three, trying to tell you that we were going on a supply He's a murderer run. and a spy. Why would you, you listen to him over me? You, about? you know me, I am Matt. Like the leader of that camp, Lost Lake, oh, sent him here. Full of shit. I'm telling I'm, you. I've never even met this motherfucker. Colonel, you've got to believe me. Enough! All right. I'm listening. I am telling you, he is a spy. Matt, this mm -hmm. guy's crazy. You've never seen him before. Yeah. Lieutenant, he comes out of nowhere, lying. and you're going to believe what, him? What's that camp you're saying I'm from? You think I'm lying? Is that it? I'm not lying. Have him show us your back. Yeah. Huh? Show us enough, your back. Enough, enough! That's my last warning. Now we will get to the truth of this matter. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Captain Khoury, I forget, is that the eighth or the ninth commandment? I don't rightly recall, sir. Tell me what you saw, and don't lie to me, son. I'll know. At Lost Lake Camp, he attacked a woman. What the fuck are Corporal! you talking? He wasn't wearing a shirt. Son of a bitch has a tattoo covering his back. It's some satanic shit. It's some kind of dog, a dead dog chewing through a chain or something, like it was nothing. I, I pulled him off her. He was drunk and we fought like hell, but who knows what wouldn't have happened if I hadn't have been there. You make him show us his back, and you will see who's lying. I'm sorry, Colonel. This shit is just so crazy. <clears throat> Turn him. <clears throat> you wear the image of Cerberus, the Hound of Hades. How fitting that you were discovered ascending from the underworld. But you are not Cerberus, are you? Deacon St. John. He's lying. You man. hide behind angelic names of the and clothe yourself in lies! He got kicked out you of the You are Judas! Out of it. And what about you, Lieutenant? How convenient that you were with the Drifter when the Nero helicopter came by. Colonel, I do not know what you're talking about. You were in a Nero camp that was overrun. How long have you been spying on us? How long? Matt, I promise, I haven't been- More lies! I expect this from drifters. I expect men like him to betray me! But an officer- Colonel! It was me! Uh, it was me! Colonel, I lied. If you look in my pocket, you're gonna find a radio. Because I called them. I called them and I lied. I lied to the lieutenant. I told her that uh, I needed her to help me check a shipment, but the truth is I just needed a hostage. Deacon St. John, Drifter, are you there? This is Nero. This is O'Brien, Drifter. I'm sorry. Corporal St. John is unavailable right now. Wait. Who is this? Sometimes 
in the search for truth. The blood of innocence is spilled. Sorry, my dear. Release Private uh, Sarkovsky, was it? Yeah. And Kuri, take this drifter to lockup. Tomorrow at 0700, he will stand trial, and he will hang. Lieutenant, enough of this. We have work to do. Come. Tell me more about this Lost Lake camp. Yes, sir. Anything you want to know. Lieutenant! Please. Come on. Get up. Ah. Uh. Good. I thought I heard you breathing. Oh, fuck you. That's what I want to hear. It means the shit hadn't broken you yet. <clears throat> okay. Why? Tat on your back. A dead dog chewing through its chains? Not something you see every day. I did some digging before we freed you. I was, um, I don't know, trying to make sense out of it. This was taken from the lieutenant when she came into the camp. My guess is, it's yours. Yeah, it's mine. And your wife's name? It ain't Beth. No, it ain't. And you've been out here all this time? Trying to find her? Yeah. You just asked me why. <laughs> Pretty simple, really. The way I figure it, any man who goes through God knows what to find his old lady does not deserve to die at the end of a rope. Boy, wait, wait, wait a second. You're, you're, you're helping me? Well, that, that just means you're all gonna hang. We're not going back. The colonel is batshit crazy. Huh. Holy war, genocide, I mean, what the fuck is that? Yeah, well then, what's the plan? What are you gonna do? We're going east. Yeah. Hopefully we can make it to Reno. You should come with us. Nope. Well, you can't go back. The militia will shoot no, you on I'm sight. No, I'm not leaving without her. Uh, and I gotta ride north. I gotta warn Iron Mike. It's way too late for that now. Why? Well, they spent all night clearing the Santiam Pass. What? A convoy rode out early this morning heading north. Oh, shit. Are you sure you don't want to come with us? Yeah, I'm sure. Good luck to you, Deacon St. John. Hey, uh, uh, Corey. When I told the Colonel about my military service, I told him I hated every goddamn minute of it, but, uh, maybe it wouldn't have been so bad if if I'd served under someone like you. You know, maybe it's not too late. Gotta get back to Lost Lake. I gotta head north. I gotta save Boozer. Ricky and Iron Mike. And I, I, I can't save Sarah. I can't save Sarah, but I can save them. I'm sorry, Sarah. I'm sorry. I am not giving up. I'm gonna find a way. I'm gonna come back for you, I swear to God. I am coming back for you. I gotta head north. Take the uh, Sandium Highway. It's clear now. Yeah, that's fast. Right? Yeah, 
this Indian. This way, <laughs> head north. scrap. <clears throat> Hang on, Boozer. I'm coming. Is that all of it, huh? Where'd you all go? Yeah.
need this. Just get the hell out of my way! Are you there? Come back. Booze man, come back. Deke, is that you? Yeah, move in here, goddammit. Addy, get wounded inside. Boozer! Deke, glad to hear you were earlier. We sure could use you about now. Get him inside. Move, damn it, move. Should look out. I'm coming, Boozer. I'm almost there. Uh, Schizo. Schizo. He's there, Boozer. He's coming for you. They're coming in through the gate! Go! Go! Let him come, DJ. Let him come. Boozer! Damn it! Ricky. Lost leg camp, come in. Ricky, I hear Mike, come in! They're pulling out. They're on the run. We got him. We got him. Where's Schizo? Has anyone seen Schizo? We did it. Man. Right on, yeah. dude. Go after him. Don't let him get away. Kill every goddamn one of them. Where the hell is Schizo? Bunch of us have been looking for him. No one's seen him. Hey, come on. We gotta go. Hey, don't worry. We're gonna find that asshole. <sighs> Deke, thank God. Come on. Ricky, what's going on? It's Iron Mike. He got shot. Hey, you lazy son of a bitch, I wanted to see if you wanted to go fishing. We got a camp to feed. <coughs> you found her? You found her? Your old lady? Yeah, Mike, she's right outside. She's here? Yeah. Yeah, look, I, uh, I couldn't have done this without your help. I want to meet her. It's gotta be a hell of a gal to go through all that trouble. God, I gotta know what my little bit. Okay, okay. Here, Mike. Here. Mike, I want you to take this. I don't want it. I don't want it. 
Again. Be careful. I was wrong, Deke. <laughs> no, no, no. We can keep this together, Mike. We just, you get back on your feet, you'll get the tournament. I was, I was wrong. No easy way to say this. Our Mike's dead. What? Oh, no, stop. We tried to stop Schizo when the militia were pulling out. Iron Mike being Iron Mike. We tried to reason with him and. Okay. Yeah, I... shut up! Shut up! This ain't no eulogy. Iron Mike wouldn't want that. I don't have time for this because. Because the men that we killed today. Well, there's more where that came from. A lot more. I've been to their camp. I've seen their army. And when they come back here, they're going to slaughter each and every one. At least they're going to try. Unless we hit them first. Hey! Hey, shut up! Shut up! Listen to him. Iron Mike trusted him, so you have to trust him! No, 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 I'm sorry. You know what? I can't do this. I'm not Iron Mike. I'm a goddamn drift. You're right. There's a road. No, I'm not fucking leaving. Look at me. Listen. All right. If I'm Boozer, tell me maybe like Cabin. Okay, so I found this in a survivalist bunker. Wait, this is... Yeah, yeah, we're gonna need a truck. Something big, something like a dump truck. And we're gonna fill it full of uh, fertilizer. nitrate? Yep. We're gonna mix it with 100 gallons of creosote. A fertilizer truck bomb. That's your plan? Oh, my God. The militia have turned this entire island into a fortress. And I got civilians in the caves. You got the labor force and those considered unfit to serve in this survivor camp. And you got the armory and the garrison right by the main gate. We hit that, we tear out the heart of the colonel's militia. What about Sarah? Well, I mean, she's in the caves. That's what the colonel calls the Ark. But how, how do you know that they're not just going to kill everybody? Sarah, Sarah and everyone else. I, I don't. I don't. But I figure that the explosion will cause so much confusion and chaos that they're, I can go in. I can find her. I can get her out before they know what hit her. Look, this isn't about just Sarah anymore. The colonel has declared war on all of us, and he's got an army to back him up. Iron Mike and the rest of them, they're just the first casualties in that war. And it's going to be a short one unless we hit them first. I didn't say it was a good plan. No, it's a really shitty one, You Nick. with me, brother? Oh, I wouldn't miss it. Okay. Well, we're not gonna be able to do it alone. All right, okay, well, if anyone wants to join in, you hit him, you hit him at the south gate. Mm -hmm. Because when the explosion happens, all the militia, they're gonna rush up toward the main gate. Mm. All right, we're gonna need some supplies. Crazy asses.
How's it coming? Back up. Hey, Deke. <sighs> hey. Uh, what's this? Oh, ask him. Well, truck's as big as a tank, right? Uh-huh. I figured. Might as well turn her into one. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, is this ready? Well, let's see, Deke. Time to fill her up. I know where to find some fertilizer. I'll radio when I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> I used to be a cop, believe it or not. And very well. I think we had it pretty good. Training equipment and all that. Not bad, fast. It wasn't just the looting which started on the boat. I'm thinking we can find all the fertilizer we need over at the Iron Butte Ranch. Iron Butte Ranch? Yeah, I mean, it's not like Jesse and his rippers are gonna need it anymore. I mean, this place used to be a golf resort, yeah? They've oh. gotta have maintenance. Yeah. 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 You were saying something? Fertilizer. Goddamn right. Yeah, I'm gonna head over there right now. When it's clear, I'm gonna radio you and Ricky to bring the truck in. You got it, brother. All right, booze her out. Hey, how many drifters you guys murdered today, huh? Yeah, I can tell by looking at you. DQ there? Yeah, yeah, Ricky, I'm here. I just wanted to say thank you for coming back to help us. I'm just sorry I was too late. You weren't. We'll stop him. Schizo, we're gonna stop him, right? Yeah, we're gonna stop him. I wanted to say I'm sorry about your... about Sarah. I can't imagine what you must be going through losing someone twice like that. Hey, I haven't lost her yet. We're building a really big bomb, remember? Well, we're glad to have you back. Hey, Ricky. Uh... It wasn't his fault. No. Iron Mike, I mean, he was, he was only trying to do the right thing. I know. Ricky, help. Dink, you there? Schizo. Oh, you got some nerve calling me. Bro, there you are. You gotta listen. I tried to stop. Shooting an iron mic. I did not want it to go down like that, bro. Captain, the colonel wants to see you right away. Hey, yeah, look, I'll tell him I'll be right there. Captain, it didn't take you long to find your way to a promotion. This barber crap is all bullshit, you know. But bro, you got this. I'm not your bro, Skizzo. I just want you. Look, when Corey busted you out, the colonel, you went crazy. Thought she was in on it. He lost his goddamn mind. He went after Lieutenant Whitaker. He was gonna kill her, Deke. Deke! Yeah, I'm listening. But I stopped him, Deke. I did. I told him that all that poison shit she's cooking up, maybe we use it to kill the freaks, but maybe we don't. Maybe there's an enemy camp. Maybe they got one water supply. Maybe dumping a gallon of hemlock into that. Maybe that solves a lot of problems. <laughs> What do you want, Schizo? Bro, yeah, I just wanted to bad. warn you. They're coming. I can't stop them. They're coming, and this time, this time the Colonel's bringing the whole damn house. Uh, I'll let him. We're not going anywhere. And when he comes... 
comes this time, we'll be ready for him. Hey, Deke. Captain, the colonel's waiting. I'll be there, goddammit! Now get out! Hey, Deke. Look, I gotta go. But, uh, I'll tell Lieutenant Whitaker that you send your best wishes. Captain Sarkozy signing off. Goddamn, you schizo. need more shit. Thanks, brother. Deacon out. all of them. Jesus. Uh, booze man. You there? It's clear. You can uh, have Ricky bring the truck over. Copy that. Hey, Deke. We got a surprise for you, brother. Oh. oh great. That's great. Can't wait. Deke and I. Another bounty.
What the hell is that? A little gift from Ricky. Still can't ride a bike, but I can shift the hell out of these gears. Wow. I uh, pull it over there. All right. <laughs> okay. Cool. Oh, that ought to be enough. All right. What's next? <sighs> Creosote, how I'll ready you with you when I'm ready. Where the hell are we gonna get a hundred gallons of creosote? You don't wanna know. Deacon St. John, come in. Deke, you out there? Hey, Cope. Yeah, let me guess, you got a job for me. Okay. Uh, I'll swing by when I get a chance. Deacon out. What's wrong? Militia. What? Where? Boozer thinks they might be planning another attack, so he asked me to send you to take a look. Goddamn militia. Yeah, I got this. <laughs> oh, thank God. I'll let Boozer and Ricky out.
You get this. That should be it. Open in the gate. Come on, get him inside. What happened? Got hit again. The squatters off the highway. We've got to get some men together, go after them. Don't look at me, it ain't my problem. They've got Manny. You sent Manny on a supply run. I just run the camp, D. I don't tell folks how to live their lives. Go to hell, Cope! My first one. On his bike. I'm gonna see if I can track him down. My men said they'd set up an ambush on the Sanium. Yeah, I already found it. Deacon out. Something out of this. Thank 
Now I got gotcha. you, oh, drifter. What the? Ah! Pull back, pull back. I wasn't gonna let him kill you. Besides, who the hell is around here knows how to rebuild a carburetor? Just back up. Nice and slow. Don't make a sound. It's clear. I've been camping too long. Never saw nothing like that before. Let's get the hell out of here. You don't gotta twist my arm on that one. Yeah, so what the hell happened? What were you doing out here? I don't know. I hadn't been on a run in months. Felt like maybe I wasn't, I don't know, doing my share, you know? A lot of assholes with guns out here, Manny. Not many know how to fix the shit that they ride around on. 
Yeah, yeah, that's what Cope said. Yeah, for once I agree with the son of a bitch. So what do you think? Why's it gotta be this way? Be what way? Everyone out here trying to kill everyone else. Ah, Manny, you know how many folks were locked up in prisons before the shit went down? I mean, here in the States... Uh, no idea. Two and a half million. You count the ones that are out on parole and probation, that's almost seven million. So, one in 35 was someone who didn't give a shit about the law. And those are just the ones that got caught. You good from here? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Deke? I owe you, man. I'd be dead right now if you hadn't... Manny. Nose down. Nose down. They feed you. Now get the hell out of here. Murderers and thieves, a lot of you. How many people you killed today, huh? Found him. Thank God and country. He's alive? He's a little banged up, but he'll live. I'm guessing a few drifters are trying to find out about your camp, how many men you have, how many guns. I hope he told him. We have all the damn guns we need, and we mean to keep them. Fitz, who got no more to say about that now, do they? No, I guess they don't. Manny gets back. Tell him to keep his nose down. St. John out.
sons of bitches. Damn, Melissa, come on! Killing me. Where are you getting the creosote? It's like driving that dump truck around. Goddamn right I do. All right. Um, I'm heading to the old sawmill. They got a couple of storage tanks there. They should have all the creosote we need. The old sawmill. Last I checked, there was a horde there. Big goddamn horde. Yeah. I'm uh pretty sure I knew that. Wait, you. <laughs> Radio when it's clear to bring your rig in. He can out. Deke? Yeah, Ricky. Boozer just told me you're heading to the old sawmill. Yeah, Boozer has a big. He is head of security. He has to tell me. You remember when I took you to the sawmill, right? You remember me showing you the horde that lives there? Uh, yeah, I remember. The really big horde that lives, sleeps, and eats there. Uh, yeah, like I said, I remember. Uh, look, Ricky, when I was with the militia, they, uh, we... We created a sort of souped-up Molotov. A souped-up Molotov? 
Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like napalm. Anyway, trust me, I got this. We need you. Deke, alive. Ricky, just be fine. You don't gotta worry about me no more, okay? I know what I'm doing. Ricky? Yeah, Deke. I'm, uh, just lighting some candles. Okay. And in, in this case, some big goddamn Molotovs, but you know, you get the idea. Get out. This ought to be easy, right? I just gotta make sure I have enough uh, traps, ammo, molotovs, and anything else I can carry. Right this way.
Holy shit, dude. Looks like I missed all the fun. Yeah. Next time, I drive the truck. You fight the freakers. Yeah, brother. Okay, just pull it over there. All right, you got it. <clears throat> The camp. I'll meet you there. <clears throat> All right. And uh, booze man, drive carefully. <laughs> what do you think? That I'm gonna blow myself up? <laughs> I need to do on the truck. Uh, I'll radio you when it's ready. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm ready when you are. Dick, you sure you want to do this? They're coming, Ricky. Unless we take him out first. You're right. Okay, Ricky out. How you been? Blair, how's it going? Yeah, good. Uh, good choice. <laughs> yep. Yep, that's nice. All right. Hey, come around more often. We miss you. Good to see you, Deke. Buzz, how's a camper's life? Okay, okay. I'll top you off. I'll be here if you need me. See you around. Hey, wait a sec. Sorry. Looks like everything's set. Yeah. Rookie rigged this up for the steering wheel. We drive right up to the front door, jump, goodbye militia. Okay, well, you sure you want to do this? I mean, it's a long way to drive with only one arm. Asshole. Look, Boozer, you and I both know it's probably a one-way trip. Yeah. Then I won't have to drive back. Fuck yeah, I want this. But there's just one thing. Only a couple of bikers will pull a dumbass stone like this. It's just us. Yep. We're gonna do this or what? Goddamn stream. <sighs> Looks like Ricky's coming after all. What's up, Deke? Nice jacket. Looks good on you. Ricky, Addy. I appreciate it, but Boozer and I, we, we got to take care of some stuff. Word gets around. 
Your speech touched more people than you thought, Deke. I told you, you can't do this alone. This, this is crazy. Oh, don't worry. They're not doing it for you. They're doing it for him. For Iron Mike! Iron Mike! Iron Mike! Iron Mike! Oh, and I hope you don't mind. I sent word to some of your friends up north. <laughs> Once word got around that we were fighting back, we couldn't keep them away. Go! <laughs> got word you were planning a little road trip. Stop these malicious sons of bitches from coming in here telling us what to do. Since you've done so much for us, thought we'd come along. We'll be glad to have you. Manny, are you Deke? Nose down? Nose down. Work hard, they feed you. Take you on damn fool errands. Get your ass shot off. Manny, listen up. This no is way. No way. We're staying out of it. Kidding me? The hot springs? Yep. I sent word to Alki. Deke. Hello, Alki. Tucker sends word that uh, she couldn't make it to the fight, but wishes she could be here. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. We, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for your help. We're here to return the favor. All right. Okay. Well, you guys ready to kick some militia ass? Yeah! We're ready to ride. All right, listen up. The plan is simple. Boozer and I are gonna hit the north gate. We're gonna blow it to hell. Now that's gonna pull everyone at the south gate. And what you gotta do is just follow Ricky. Yeah? Are we ready? Well, you too. Are we ready? Listen, I'm gonna radio when we hit the bridge. Don't go in until then. Okay. All right, let's do this. Damn it, Boozer. Oh, God damn it. I'm shot. I'm shot. Help me. Help. I'm going to kill every goddamn one of you. Whoa. There it is. 
Sarah. I gotta get to Sarah. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. A heavy howl, goddammit! Oh, you're not gonna stop me. Hang on, Sarah! I'm almost there. Sniper, I gotta be on the uh, tower. Gotta take him out, gotta take him out. these guys. there. Come on, come on, keep going.
Ricky, can you hear me? Deke? We got him! We, 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 we got him! Deke! Deke! Ricky? Ricky? Oh, give him hell, Ricky. Burn him to the ground! Made it. Hang on, sir. Snipers, damn it. Already. Fuck you, you want me to blow us both to hell? God damn it, you hear that? Oh, hurry up! There, it's good to go. How many is that? Enough. Let's get back to the colonel, come on. Captain Sarkozy, reporting in. We... How many explosives did you set? Captain, we didn't have time to set them all... Here's one. What? God damn it! I got it this armor. How many? There. Uh, it's, it's, it's three! Three, sir! Okay, god damn it. Okay, okay. Where's the others? Going down to get the detonator from Weaver. Hold the cave entrance. Got that? No one gets down! Yes, sir. You're stood, sir. No one gets down. And stay off Come this on. goddamn channel. You might have been compromised. This'll do. I'll just take these.
thing is going to stop me, Schizo. Hey, asshole. We know you're out there. We know who you are. Just give yourself up. Hey, promise to shoot you myself. Come on, Lieutenant. Where's that goddamn detonator? Fuck you, man. I ain't getting trapped in here. Weaver, come on. You know we follow orders. That's how it has to be. Where the fuck is it? need these.
die, goddammit! Something schizo. There was a time when I would have uh, dragged you out into the shit. And I would have left you to the freaks. But hey, 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 hey. I'm not gonna do that. You wanna know why? Because they would tear you limb from limb. But you know what? They wouldn't enjoy it. <laughs> God has ordained this place. This is consecrated ground. We are safe in this place. We are safe in this place. I don't know when or why, but I, uh, I, I saw something a, a month ago, maybe. I, I felt something, something I, I hadn't felt in a long time, and, um, and I know that a lot of you might have, might have felt the same way, and I, I think that if we just can... Deacon? I'll have your side on. Sit. Let him go, Colonel. It's all over. Your militia is done. Would you like some tea? I'm sure you would. Sarah, would you pour the drifter a cup of tea? The Ark was our only hope. You realize that, of course. When the world was cleansed, it was the only thing that would allow us to rebuild. Everything was here, protected, saved by the grace of God. <laughs> we never did find someone to play the piano, though, did we? <laughs> ah, it doesn't matter now. When all this is gone, there'll be nobody left to hear the music. You've destroyed us. You destroyed everything we worked for. No, Colonel, you did when you started this holy war. You know, given the choice between you and the freaks, I'm gonna have to go with them, because at least when they kill, they're just looking for a meal, and they don't kill unarmed women. No! <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, could you set up a triage tent over there? Hey! Hey, there's a cave entrance over there. You'll find supplies and bad. Just get some men. Go. You, you, let's go. Ricky! Patty. Does anyone hear me? I can help. I'm a doctor. <laughs> it's over. Everyone that wasn't. Killed or wounded by the blast, pretty much just gave up. Where is Boozer? Move it. Move it. Ricky, I need attack. some help over here. The north gate. The south gate. Move. Ricky. My leg. My leg. Yeah. Hope you save some for me. Boozer. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I jumped. <laughs> no, what the fuck? Just you before I ran out of bridge. I saw yeah. the truck. No, no, no. I felt the blast wave. Even under 10 feet of water. Now, that was a ride. <laughs> <laughs> what? You didn't think I'd blow myself up, did you? Then who'd be around to bust your balls? I would. <laughs> hey! Oh! Hey. Little sister. Oh. Yeah, yeah, long story. <laughs> so, um... I hear someone's been looking for you. What? <laughs> kind of wouldn't shut up about it. Yeah, don't listen to him. It was really <laughs> more his idea oh. than... Ricky! Eddie! Which one of you is driving me out of this shithole? <laughs> It's all yours, brother. So I hear that you're staying on to rebuild. Not all the colonel's ideas were bad. Just the batch of crazy ones. You're the second person to tell me that. Who else? Corey? You know what? Fuck that dude. Hey. He left us here to rot. If it wasn't for him, we'd all be dead. Whatever, man. You know, I think we'll try this again without all the army man bullshit. <laughs> hey. You're gonna miss my speech. Nah, I wouldn't say I'm gonna miss it. Deke, hell of a fight. Yeah, that it was. Manny, oh shit, look who's still breathing. Nose down. Nose down. Keep it on your face that way. <laughs> Not bad for a drifter. Brother, we did it. You did it. Ah, man, you know, I gotta uh, admit for a second there, I thought that you were, um... You gonna blow myself up? I told you I got shit to do. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, give him help, brother. Yeah, here goes. Chuck would be proud. We did it. We did it. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> See? Good things happen when you stop and light a candle. Well, this is sort of more of a bonfire, but right. yeah. <laughs> I've never seen you give a speech before. Oh, God. It ain't gonna be a speech. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. That's enough of that. Ah, uh, what does it mean that they're all good and quiet? Oh, yeah, they're waiting for you. God it's your God. cue. It's... <sighs> <clears throat> 
I know we got a lot of rebuilding to do, so I'm gonna keep this short. Look, I'm not a leader. Yeah, right. no, I don't care what you say, I'm not. <laughs> but, um... You've done something here today. We've done something. We banded together to fight. Uh, not because some asshole told us to, but because it was the right thing to do. And you know what? We won. You know, I've seen you struggle to rebuild. I've seen you fight to save lives, to keep people safe, keep people fed. I've seen you sacrifice everything that you have, everything that you are, to make the world a better place. And see, that's why we're still here. That's why we're still here. Because if we don't have hope, for a better life, or for a future that matters. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell are we fighting for? Yeah. You know, Iron Mike, he, um... Yeah, Iron Mike! He once said to me that... Yeah. that we make the world what it is by what we do. Yes, we hell do. yeah! Huh? What did we do? Huh? What are we going to do? See this? This is the first step. I thought you weren't going to give a speech. Yeah, I screwed up. Uh, how the hell was it? You know, it was, it was all right for an outlaw biker. Outlaw biker, huh? <laughs> Are you ready to ride? Old lady? I don't know, depends. Where are we going? Wherever the hell we want. I do, sweetheart. Hey. Hey, Deacon. Addie carved it herself. It's beautiful, right? Thanks. Yeah, it was a piece of redwood that Mike kept in his room. He once told me that when things settled down, he was gonna make something out of it, like a cribbage board. Wait, a what? A, he doesn't play cribbage. Mm. Iron Mike played cribbage. <laughs> no, no, but that's the point. That there'd come a day when something like that mattered again. Well, oh, what does it say? Eh, don't look at me, I just carved it. It's, a, it's an old Hindu proverb. My mother taught it to me. It reads, rivers do not drink their own water. Trees do not eat their own fruit and clouds do not swallow their own rain. What great ones have is always for the benefit of others. What do you think? Well, coming from you, I think that would have meant a lot to him. Yeah. Yeah, I think if Mike were here, he would probably say something like, what the hell does that even mean? <laughs> huh? Come on. Yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> he would have said, what the hell does that mean? Followed by, what the hell are you doing standing around here? The world ain't gonna save itself, God damn it! Get right. to work. You're right again. Come on, guys, let's get to work. <sighs> oh, did I ever tell you about the time that Iron Mike saw Addie and I for the first time at the lodge in front of the fireplace? Oh, this is funny. <laughs> okay, so we were tangled up. No, 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 we were all okay, up in Addie. it. What? Addie, uh, uh, why? for the first time, and Iron Mike comes out and you he looks at us. You don't have to tell us. me this. You can stop. He had that grin on his face. I'm back. not gr- You're such a oh, perv, you perv. I'm tired of you too.
Hey, we got a goddamn ripper here. Turn around. I'm not a ripper. Hey, whoa, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. I know her. Uh, put that away. I got this. Okay, take care of her. Not my problem. Is, is this your ride? It's a piece of shit, but it runs. Uh, well, I don't know if you're sticking around, but I could have Ricky take a look at it. I brought some bounties to trade. Okay, then, uh, I should probably introduce you to Joe Haslin. He's the bounty collector. He's right up this way. I'm not staying. I'm not staying in a goddamn camp. Yeah, do whatever you want. You know, while you're here, uh, I'd like to introduce you uh, to someone. Her name is Sarah. She had a kid sister that... Um, well, her kid sister reminds me of you, so I thought that maybe you would like her. I had a sister. She was older than me. How pain in my ass. Kind of reminds me of my older brother, Boozer. Real pain in my ass. Actually, he's not my brother. Um, we rode together in the AMC. And he's the head of security around here, so you should probably meet him, too. I told you I'm not staying. And I heard you. Seriously, do whatever you want. So what kind of gun you got there? Are you making sure that you ride out with plenty of ammo? Yeah, I got enough. I'm good. Yeah. I always rather I had to work at that. Well, I can't say I expected to hear from you again. What is it this time? Believe me or not, I'm glad to see you again. That night at Wizard Island didn't seem to go well. What can I do for you, O'Brien? I'm here to warn you. Warn me? Warn me about what? You remember? I told you the infected were evolving. Right, yeah, freaks are freak. What the hell do I care? <laughs> The strain of the virus, its effects on the human nervous and lymphatic systems is accelerating at an exponential rate. They knew all along, of course, that it was happening. The men above me, that's why they were so cautious, so secretive. Sorry. There's nothing you can do to stop them. There's nothing anyone can do.